Hey folks, Mark here with Heat and Sweep again, back at you with another installation video. Today we're on a uh, remodel and we're putting in a fireplace. And I just wanted to give you a quick tip on uh, the vent. And how do we run the vent? That's mainly what this one's going to be about today. Fireplace set, gas, electric, battery backup, all that stuff. We put our pipe up and we'd like to go straight up through the ceiling. But we can't because there's an overhang there and I'll show you that outside. So we are actually going to have to go, we've laid everything out to make sure miss all of the structure and everything like that through the wall. Now you can't just run a pipe any old which way through the wall, you need special thimbles stuff. That's going to go through the wall and that is going to go, there's that same hole. It's actually going to go horizontal and it's going to go into the second stud cavity, straight up through there. You'll see that here in a little while. I just wanted to show you what it really takes. Notice there's structure on the back side, this truss. We have to make sure to miss that. We're going to have to build a little bit of framing to support the wall thimble that uh, actually is an approved penetration fire stop. And so, and we've got our gas line that comes down. Oops, I'm on the wrong side of the wall here. Anyways, there's our, I'll show you that in a second. Gas goes right in here, ties in. We've got our battery backup wiring. I'll show you that in just a second. The electrical is gonna tie in right here. Now the deck is just big enough for the frame. The client wanted to keep this the lowest profile possible. So he's actually gonna build the walls to cover up all these mechanical guts here and make sure that everything is symmetrical and whatnot. You have to have a shut off. So he's actually gonna have an access panel back inside of here uh, for the uh, fireplace gas shut off. So we've got the drip leg, we've got our shut off, which is required. We've got a union, which is required because we've actually hard piped up into it. And then the battery backup box is in there so if he ever lost power he just has to plug this little adapter in it's just as easy as plugging in your cell phone and the fireplace will run without power in a power outage situation and it will generate heat to this entire space and it'll really be pretty amazing and beautiful we're back and we've got some progress happening so we've actually got the venting ran we've got a special thousand degree sealant applied between the venting and the fireplace Everything is level and plumb. We've got everything screwed together. We've got our bracing. And we go up through and we actually have turned horizontally and gone through the wall cavity with what we call a wall thimble. And that keeps all of our clearances to combustibles. And you can see we've penetrated horizontally here. And there, right there, is uh, where we've ended so far. We've got some pieces that are going to go and turn back to vertical. And I'm going to take you outside so you can see the outside, what we've done, and drop a plumb bob down. Um, each fireplace is a little bit different, and they all require different um, amounts of rise and run. Now, the sunshine might be right in your eyes with this, actually. Yeah, you can see that, that little drill bit sticking up. <clears throat> so we are actually going to penetrate right there, cut our hole. That will be where we turn and go vertical. Like I was saying, each manufacturer requires a different amount of rise and run, meaning how much vertical venting you have versus how much horizontal venting you have. Um, the easiest way to figure that out is just to uh, pop in a heat and sweep and we can uh, figure out which fireplace you got and uh, if we're doing the installation we just take care of all of that for you this is actually really challenging to do um, so like I say any questions definitely pop in a heat and sweep it's the easiest way to solve them we're all about making living better for you and we're gonna continue with the video so stay tuned all right folks we're outside I just wanted to show you the final product of the vent um, none of that was there before it was just a flat shingled roof we've actually installed all that there's all kinds of regulations as far as uh, how much to stick up and there's all kinds of rules about that um, 
So you got to know what you're doing, that's for sure. And uh, that's the finished result as far as the fire goes. That's a gas fireplace with a touch of a button. No more having to maintain a wood fire, no more having to sweep the chimney, no more having to worry about hot sparks burning your flooring, no more having to worry about cleaning the ashes or cutting, drying, stacking, hauling the wood. It's all done right here on this remote control. So you need ready for bed and just shut it down. If you want to enjoy it for 15 minutes, you just push a button. And this thing is radiating a ton of heat. It is absolutely magical. It really is. You can have this in your home as well. Come down to Heat and Sweep and see us and we can install this for you. We're all about making living better for you folks. That is a wonderful fire. And can you even imagine having that in your home? Come see us today and we can make it happen for you. Thanks for watching and have a good day.